class today we are going to look at form 2 mathematics our topic is statistics 1 we are going to learn how to calculate the mean how to find the mode and how to calculate the median of a grouped data of a grouped data so welcome my learner and therefore we go straight away to our first question the question is the marks obtained by a group of students in a mathematics test were, uh, were recorded uh, in the table below. So you have the marks here in groups, in groups 30 to 39, the number of students who got that, uh, there were 3, 40 to 49, there were 11, 50 to 59, 20, 60 to 69, 12, 70 to 79 for students. And therefore, our question is, A, state the model class. State the model class, calculate the, the mean mark, and finally, calculate the median mark. Calculate the median mark. So, part A, state the model class. State the model class. State the model class. Model class learner. Model class. Model class refers to the class, to that class which has the highest frequency, to that class where you have majority of the learners, majority of the students. So if you come to our uh, table here, you can see that this class here, this one, 50 to 59, its frequency is 20. It has the highest frequency, 20. And therefore, our model class will be 50 to 59 the class which has the more highest number of students and therefore our question is calculate the the mean mark how do you find the mean learner you come and draw what we call a frequency distribution table you draw what we call a frequency distribution table let us draw it you put your classes here or the groups of marks. You put the number of students in the second column here. You put the number of students in the second column and we refer to the number of students as frequency. That is why I've used the symbol F for frequency. Then the third column you put what we call X. What is your X? X refers to the midpoint of the classes. Mid point x learner refers to the midpoint of the classes and therefore let us fill this column here how do you get the midpoint of this class 30 to 39 learner what you do you don't need to write the numbers there is a shortcut and that is it is a matter of adding this plus this then you divide by 2 so 30 plus uh, 39 gives you 69 69 divided by 2. 69 divided by 2 would give you 34.5. You come and put it here. 34.5. You add these two to get the midpoint. That is 89 divided by 2. 89 divided by 2 will give you 44.5. You move on learner. This plus this will give you a 9. 109 divided by 2 will give you 54.5 54.5 you do the same here you'd get 64.5 you'd get here 74.5 and therefore learners those are your axes which refer to the midpoint from there you come to the fourth column here learner you come to the fourth column you write fx f times x fx so, in this column, to fill this column, you multiply your f times x, your f times x. So, learner, you multiply this times this. That 4.5 times 3 would give you 103.5, okay? You continue using a calculator there, you would get 489.5. Multiply this by this, you would get 1090. So, learner, you fill in that column of fx, multiplying f times x, f times x.
times x. From there, lambda, the mean which is symbolized as x bar, is given by formula summation or sum of fx. You add all the fx's. This symbol means you add sum of all the fx's divided by the sum of f. Divided by the sum of f. So, Lana, you come and add all these fx's. So, you come and write sum of fx is equals to what? You should get 2755. You then come and get the sum of f. What would be your sum of f here? You can write it here. Your sum of f. You add these frequencies, Lana. Add the frequencies. You would get what? You would get 50. You are dealing with 50 students. 50 students. And therefore, you come here and say, therefore, your mean will be equal to what? It will be equal to sum of fx, which is 2,755. Yes? Divide by what? Divide by 50. You work out that your mean should be 55.1. That is the mean mark. So, Lana, we go to part C. Part C of our question. Calculate the median mark. Calculate the median mark. So, how do we go about that? That is the formula for finding the median. Where L refers to what? L, Lana, refers to the lower class limit of the median class. Lower class limit of the median class. We are going to see that. C refers to cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency just above the median class. Above. We are going to look at this. Above the median class. I, Lana, refers to class interval. And F refers to the frequency of the median class. Frequency of the median class. Good. So, Lana, let us apply this in working out the median. So let us calculate our median now, Lana. So our median, to get our median, you first identify the position of the median. Its position, position of the median. We have said that median is the value, it is the value that falls at the middle of a set of data when the data is arranged in ascending order. It falls at the middle and therefore it falls halfway, the data. So it is a half of N, where N is referring to the, the total frequency. So Lana, where do we get, how do we get the N? To get the N, you go to your table and you add a column for what we call cumulative frequency. Maybe I can just write the symbols. Cumulative frequency. How do you get the cumulative frequency column, Lana? So... How do you get the first cumulative frequency, Lana? You come to your uh, frequency column. This is three, you come and write the, the first value there of the frequency. From there, to get the second one, you say three plus the next. Three plus 11 gives you 14, okay? 14 plus 20 gives you 34. 34 plus 12 gives you what? 46, okay? 46 plus 4, Lana, the last one, gives you 50. So we are dealing with 50 students. And therefore, we come back to here. So our N is 50. And therefore, we come here and say this is a half times 50, which gives you 25. So our median lies on the 25th position. So you come to the frequency, uh, I mean, cumulative frequency column. You check where you are 25 will lie. 25, this is 3, this is 14. So 25 lies here. It lies here. You come and uh, mark that row like that. And therefore, your median class, you come and write that, your median class is 50 to 50. Nine. Your median class is 50 to 59. And therefore, Lana, you now come and say your median is what therefore? You get your L. L, lower class limit of the median class. How do you get it? 
you come to the lower number here, 50, you subtract 0 0.5. 50, you subtract 0 0.5. And therefore, you'd get 49.5 plus bracket. A half of n, a half of n. We already have it. A half of n is 50. A half of n. Uh -huh. So maybe you can write it. Uh, a half of n will give us 25 direct. 25, a half of A, we have already got it. Then minus what? Our C. C refers to the cumulative frequency just above the median cl class. So you come here. This is our median class. This is the row that we mark, which is the cumulative frequency above this. It is 14, 14. So come and write 14 there. Multiply by I. I, learner, we have said it refers to it refers to the class interval from 50 to 59. How many values are those? Those are 10, 10. So you come and write your 10 there. You divide by F. F means what? Remember what we said? F refers to the frequency of the median class. What is the frequency of the median class here? The frequency of a median class is 20. And therefore, the line of this gives you 49.5 plus 11 times 10 divided by 20. This gives us 49.5 plus, this is 11 times 10 is 110 divided by 20. 110 divided by 20 gives you 5.5. And therefore, our median learner should be what? You work out that, you get 50. 55. Good. Thank you.